Hello everyone. Back again with English theater. Today, I have brought a 2013 fantasy film named Minuscule, which is also called Valley of the Lost Ants. Before we get into the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe to get a more movie recaps like this and have a great day. At the beginning of the movie, we see a married couple who are enjoying the nature in the forest with fresh air and fruits. The woman was pregnant and she suddenly senses that she is about to give birth. So her husband quickly took her to his car and they both leaves from there. But they forgot their food and urgent. Meanwhile, three ladybugs hatches under one of the leaves and immediately fall to the ground. The parent teaches their children that how to fly up. First they can't fly well, but soon the babies begin to follow their parent and understand better that how to fly. Then they family flies over the grasses and the river. Suddenly, a baby ladybug hears the laughter in the bushes and stay away from her family. She wished to know what it was. So her curiosity makes her fly further into the forest. At that time, one another insects try to attack her. The ladybug frightened and tries to escape, but she doesn't know her strength. She accidentally hits a rock and falls into a crevice, so one of her wing falls off. The insects flew around her for a while, but later flew away. Later the ladybug tries to fly, but she can't able to fly with one wing. Now it begins to rain at evening, and so the ladybug gets out of the crevice and calls for the help. But no one is there to help her. She later looking for a shelter to prevent her from the rain. She found a sugar box and spent her night in the box, which is left by the couple. In the morning, the ladybug wakes up and looks outside the box, where she sees caterpillars, beetles, and bugs scattering food to their home. She also saw that the flies takes the chips and the bed bugs share the cookies and a box of matches and nearby a group of black ants passes by. Later the black ants leader smells the sugar box and rushes towards the box. Seeing that, the ladybug hides inside the box. But the ant doesn't notice the ladybug. The leader ant takes the sugar and ask his fellow ants to drop everything and run to the box. All the ants then pick it up together and carry it towards their ant hill. The ladybugs still stay inside the box, which other ants don't know. But when the ants throw the box off a rock, then the ladybug falls out. Then the ants collect the scattered sugar. At that time, a lizard notice the ants. Then the ants hides behind pieces of sugar. And the lizard tried to eat the leader of the ants. But the ladybug aware of it and suddenly went inside the box and makes noise from inside. Then the lizard immediately hides between the rocks. Then the ants gather again around the box and talk to the ladybug. Then the ladybug told ants that she can't fly with a wing. So all the ants suggest ladybug to come with them for their ant hill. Then they begins to travel with the sugar box, and when they reaches the rock, the leader of the ants sends a signal to the ant colony to wait for them with their precious cargo. After few minutes, the black ants are spotted by a gang of aggressive red ants. They block the black ants and steal the sweet from the sugar box. Then the leader of the black ants took one sugar cube and presents it to the red ants. But the red ants are furious because they need sugar box all for themselves. So they chase the black ants, but black ants notice this and at that moment, they approach a step slope. Then they climb up to the box and push it down. Then the box gradually slide down the slope. Immediately red ants took a waste soda can then gets inside and push the can down to the slope. But the box of black ants and the can of red ants falls into the river. Due to the this, the ladybug falls out of the box into the water. Later on, the black ants decided to save their new friend, so they hold each other and form a chain. Then they gets into the water and retrieve the ladybug. Then they gets inside the box and falls from the height. And the red ants team falls after them. After that, the black ants and ladybug continue walking to the ant hill. That time, ladybug hears a familiar sound. She thinks that her kind of ladybugs are nearby. So she tries to fly with her one wings, but she can't stay longer in the air with a wing. She become upset and go after the black ants. Later, the red ants caught black ants on the roadway. Anyway, they manage and reaches their ant hill along with ladybug. Then all the ants gave the sugar to each black queen ants. As soon as her uterus tastes the sugar, she immediately lays a bunch of eggs. Meanwhile, red ants find the spot of black ants ant hill. Then the leader of the red ants went to inform the queen ant about the sugar. She orders the red ant to prepare a attacking weapon immediately. 
an entire red ant rushes to the black ant colony, and brings weapons, which are, chestnuts, stones, slingshots, and even bug spray. Now the night falls, and black ant colony was quiet, because everyone slept, including ladybug. Suddenly the ladybug wakes and goes to the top of the anthill. Now she noticed that her second wing begins to grow again. Means she can fly again soon. She was very happy for this. And in the morning, red ants approaching black ants anthill. But black ants already prepared for this, and they loaded ammunition into their slingshots. But unfortunately, the ruthless shelling of the anthill begins. But the black ants still didn't give up. They defend themselves by stopping cotton swabs, tablets, and salt on the red ants. But red ants bombs are stronger than the black ants. Then Ladybug asked for the matchbox, and the leader of the black ants bring a matchbox and open it. But he finds only one stick inside, so he carefully read the instructions on the box, and lights the match. The commander lights the firecracker. It twirls and falls on the battlefield, killing many red ants with the explosion. But they have single match stick which is over now, so red ants immediately goes out, and attacks black ants twice than them. At that time Ladybug remembers, that she saw a matchbox which is forgotten by the couples, before she met the black ants. Immediately she seeks for the help of black ants, to get the matchbox soon. Then one of a black ant prepare a paper airplane for her. But as she try her own, she begins to fly by herself with the help of new little second wing. After reaches there, she tries to lift the heavy matchbox herself. But then she sees a spider creeping in. He easily took the box and carries it to his lair. Then the ladybug follows him, then she came to know that the spider lives in an abandoned tube, in a toy castle. The ladybug sneaks inside the spider house, and it turns out that he took the matchbox with him to fasten his web. But the ladybug don't have much time, and she have to save the anthill soon. At that time, she was grabbed by a toad, which is behind her. She is about to die, and she was collapses. Later she regains consciousness in the spider's cottage. The spider then feeds Ladybug, and gave Matchbox with understanding. Then Ladybug grabs the matches, and flies to help her friends. She then heads towards the severely damaged anthill, with a victory cry. She delivers the matches to the anthill, and her friends cheer her on. Then they set all the firecrackers, and fall to the ground and explode. Their explosion ignite the tank of ant poison. The red ants are forced to flee the battlefield. Even the red ants are defeated, a real fire breaks out around the anthill. And the black ants and ladybug hides in the main hall. Suddenly, a plane files over the anthill and floods the fire with foam. Later the fire stops, but the foam eats away at the anthill. The ants and ladybug looks around silently, and some time passes. Later, Ladybug gone to meet a Ladybug family, whom she met on the way before she took the matchboxes. In that family, there are five babies, who have already learned to fly. Meanwhile, the black ants are successfully rebuild their new anthill, and the Ladybug didn't forget her ant friends. They all later meet in a place and enjoy the sunset. If you like the story, then do watch the full film. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Kindly like the video, and subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my new videos, see you on the next video.